Painting tutorial, and this one we're going to look at the dreaded amble for Blackstone Fortress. So to start off, I airbrushed everything. Um, started off with a black base coat, but uh, Sotek green here. Um, started doing the under the carapace skin here, just getting a base color on it. Uh, apologize for the angle, I'm going to switch the, the uh, camera angle after uh, the next, uh, after a couple more uh, airbrush things here. Anyways, so yeah, getting a, a nice little layer of Sotek green on. Um, the under carapace there, and I'm going to be uh, layering up a couple more layers of airbrushing here. Okay, you can see what I've done there. Uh, now I'm doing techless blue, um, just airbrushing that over the same area. Sorry, not techless blue. This is the uh, Stegadon, whatever it is. Anyways, uh, just bringing up these highlights a bit more with a bit more of a turquoisey color. Um, trying to get a bit more zenithal highlighting, so coming from the top down where possible. Um, as you can see, just bringing up that blue to a nice, uh, nice brighter blue here. Unlike most carapace armor sort of uh, bugs, this guy has a lot of exposed flesh, and it's mostly sort of on the belly and the back. So uh, it's worth spending a bit of extra time getting nice colors on there. Okay, next up is going to be Blue Horror. Um, this is just a nice light blue, and I'm just going to try to do the belly just to help make it look like a little bit more of a softer underbelly um, with a lighter color, as you usually see with uh, various animals. Doing a little bit under the arms as well, just trying to get, uh, trying to get that to nice, nice gradient there. Okay, now I'm going with Abaddon Black, and I'm going over all the carapace. So I've thinned this down, so it's not like a super opaque Abaddon Black, um, but just going over all the carapace just to uh, to cover up any of the overspray on there, which there is lots, um, just to give it a bit more of a, a distinct uh, transition. The idea here being, um, I'll, I'll go over this with another color, uh, blue actually, which will be next, and uh, this, this Abaddon Black just helps differentiate the two parts so the carapace looks distinctly different from the under under armor okay now Caldor Sky doing a little bit of airbrushing on the carapace um, it's going to be pretty transparent just giving a bit of a hint of a blue here and uh, the idea is I'll, I'll highlight this up later with some edge highlighting but this is just to give a bit of a base again make the, the carapace a little bit of a different color not a pure black um, and helping to uh, get that uh, laid on there nice and thin. Okay, next up I'm going to start working on those uh, sort of, uh, I don't know what they are, pod, pods or something coming out of his skin. I thought they would look nice with a bit of a glowy look, so I'm using uh, Evil Sun Scarlet here, and I'm going to kind of spray around that whole area. Uh, you can see I got a bit of extra paint there, I just wiped it off. Um, just trying to put on thin layers just to give a bit of a, an aura effect around here. Um, off screen there just cleaning out the needle, uh, cleaning off the tip of the needle for the airbrush. So just trying to go around um, that whole area, give a bit of a halo effect with the red and uh, work that up on all the different uh, spots on his arms, his shoulders, his head and his back. I don't show all the different spots here on, on screen just because it takes a little time and it's not that interesting. If you were to do this um, without an airbrush, you could just do really thin glaze coats. Um, probably would be a bit harder, a bit more time consuming, that's why I'm doing it with the airbrush. Um, but you could do it, uh, obviously you can do it, you can do anything without the airbrush, it just takes a little longer or maybe a bit more skill. So now I'm going with uh, yellow in here and trying to just focus in on the, the main circles. Um, I don't think I quite got enough on there, um, it's a pretty transparent yellow so I should have gone back and done more. Um, later on when I'm painting these, I, I go in with a bit of a, a, an orange to fill in a bit of the gaps. But anyways, try to focus in on those center bits, get them all um, yellowy, and uh, I, I know that I'm going to go back later and touch it all up with a paintbrush anyways. Okay, now Xandri Dust for the tusks, or mandibles or whatever you're going to call those. Just a thick base coat on there. Well, not a thick coat. Thin base coat. Uh, Nagaroth Knight. So I'm doing the, the claws here. I'm going to do those purpley. Um, it seems like that's what's in the uh, box art. 
Uh, doing a bit of a shabby bone up towards the tip, so they, they're going to be lighter at the top and darker towards the bottom. And a bit more screaming skull just to help uh, bring out that top part there. Working towards the bottom, a bit of Steel Legion drab to shade. This didn't actually do a whole lot. Um, I go on next with Dryad Bark. Not a lot either. Really, the main part of the shading I got with uh, Agrax Earth Shade and just doing many, many layers, kind of like a glaze uh, towards the bottom. I had to touch up things too. Um, got some paint on it or whatever. Uh, doing with the purple with some of the little creatures that come along with them and uh, doing his toes and his fingernails with a little bit of this. Um, this is just a sort of a very quick base coat for those things. Um, and this here doesn't really add a lot. Um, okay, Agrax Earthshade, there you go, starting that on those tusks. Okay, Mephiston Red, I think this is for the eyeballs, yep, yeah, doing the eyes in that. He's got, uh, I think he's got six eyes there. It's two big ones, two medium ones, and two small ones. The trick there is trying to get in all of the crack right around the eye, there's quite a lot of detail there. Uh, those little tongues in Screamer Pink. Uh, going back with Andrew Dustin doing all the maggots that are seem to be falling off of him everywhere. There's lots of these, uh, especially on the uh, additional creatures. So I'm trying to be really careful to stay within the line, so I'm using a small brush there. Uh, Agrax Earthshade on those. So shade them up. And uh, probably a bit more on the tusk as well. Pink Horror, just highlighting up those uh, little tongues and a bit of Emperor's Children, second highlight. Okay, now we're going in with uh, some Uriel Yellow and trying to get those uh, center bits there. So this, this goes on pretty transparent, so it's going to be multiple time, multiple passes on each one of them. Make sure you let it dry fully between. I didn't do that a couple times and it, it gets a bit clumpy. So you just got to be careful. Take your time. Okay, and then I wasn't really liking how this was looking around the edges, so I went with Troll Slayer and I kind of watered it down big time. And I'm just using it kind of to fill in that whole crack around the outside. Sorry for being off camera here, but basically I'm, I'm letting this pool and so that orange is going to be going all through that, uh, the, the sort of the separation point there. And it's a really, really uh, heavy wash almost, but it's just sitting in that one spot, very targeted. Highlighting up some of the eyes here with uh, Evil Sun's red, I think it is, and then uh, Wild Rider red, just a second highlight there. Gene Stealer Purple going over the claws now, just trying to get some of the edge highlights on those. Um, since I airbrushed the two first colors on it, just worrying about the edge highlighting and some texture here. A uh, bit of null and oil on those wings there. Those were done with um, Caldor Sky, I think it was. So a bit of a light gray. You shopped your bone. Now I'm going and highlighting all the, uh, the detail on the termites, or sorry, the uh, maggots, whatever they are. Just trying to get all those raised areas um, just with the edge of my brush going across them. And Screaming Skull doing a second highlight on all those. And you see I've got these guys here on their bases as well. The underbelly of those little creatures is the same sort of color. Working on Caldor Sky now, doing some edge highlighting on the carapace. So this is the same color I did with the airbrush, just adding a bit more of it. Um, the airbrush color and this will blend a bit together and make my job a little bit easier here. But the idea is just to bring out a bit of blue on this, uh, just again, differentiate things. Using a little bit of texture on the back here, just trying to well, get those those chips and whatever, but also doing a little bit of texture at the back of the thing. Uh, next up, a little bit of techless blue, so just a second highlight on here, mostly edges on, on those little uh, tubule things type thing, and doing those uh, gashes on his carapace as well. Okay, going with a little Templar Guard blue on the underside here. So this is the same color again that I was painting with the airbrush. Just using this to highlight up some of the, the raised areas, some of the folds in the skin and the knuckles, that sort of thing. Just to accentuate those that 
things that the airbrush wouldn't have picked up quite as well. And again, because the airbrush color underneath was the same, it, it blends fairly well um, and it's kind of uh, transitions nicely. Uh, blue horror, off camera apparently. Um, just trying to highlight up some of the muscles, muscle tone on his belly. Again, same color I airbrushed, but just adding a bit more oomph to it. A little bit of uh, alpha and gray, just again, a bit more highlight, slightly brighter tone. Now I'm taking Dorn yellow and highlighting up those yellow bits. So this is a nice sort of desaturated yellow, just doing little bits of it there. Um, using this glue, blue glaze just to help uh, accentuate a bit more of those muscles and that's it. So nice nice model, painted up pretty quickly especially with the airbrush. Um, took a little bit of liberty with those glowy bits and uh, yeah overall quite happy with how it turned out and uh, look forward to doing more things like this in the future. Let me know if you have any comments in, below and uh, if you want to see anything different, want to have any questions about how I painted up different things or comments about that sort of stuff. Just uh, Shoot me a comment and I'll see you next time.